Hi guys, I had a request to do another pop pop boat. So we'll see what we can do with this bit of copper pipe. That's all I've got left, so it's quite a short length. What I'm going to do is go and heat it up to red hot and let it cool down. That anneals the copper so it makes it softer to bend. Then I'm going to see if I can make a coil round this bit of dowel and then use that as the motor with a T-light going up through the middle of the coil and I'll use this plastic bottle, this was a mouthwash bottle, use that as the actual boat. I can only heat up short sections at a time because I've only got the gas ring to do this on. So I'm heating it up till it's red, hot. Don't know if that will show on the camera. and then move along to the next section. Well, we're very nearly there. That's what I'm aiming for. Just need to get the right angle on here so it goes down through the bottom of the boat. So I need a bit more of a swan neck there, so I'll just heat it up one more time and hopefully that'll be it. Now we need to cut a hole in the top of the boat, the bottle, so we can mount that in there and the tea light in there. Right, we'll wait for that to dry. Well, the glue's dry, so we'd better go and test it. We had a bit of motion then, one bubble. I'll just give it a bit of help. Right, so clearly it needs more heat. I've just done a really technical modification here. I've put two extra wicks into this tea light. If it works, I'll do a little video on how I did it.
Whoa, out of camera shot. That looks like we have motion now. So that was the trick. Three wicks in my tea light. That's going well now. Oh yes, very good. So there you go. Technical modification. Extra wicks in your tea light. That's going really well now. Look at that go. And it's silent. Okay, summary time. We've got a coil of copper tube, a tea light with three wicks in it, and a plastic bottle that had mouthwash in it, and a bit of two pack epoxy adhesive to hold the pipe where it goes through the bottle. And that's a little flyer now. do. I'll do a quick little video on how to put extra wicks in your tea lamp. Quick video on how to supercharge your tea light so that you can give your pop pop boats more power. This is a tea light that I've been using that's why the wick is already black but it's not giving enough power or heat to drive my pop pop boat. So if I gently push it out of its container, if you're lucky it'll come out, there we go, it's held in place by a little aluminium washer. The wick is held in place by a little aluminium washer. There's another one. So, if we take an unused tea light cut it to get the wick out and then drill a hole that's bigger than the wick and just poke the wick through simple as that so there you've got a two wick tea light. Open another one. There we go. You may want to vary the position depending on where you need all the heat. There we go, there's a three wick tea light, and if you haven't destroyed the case, you can slip it back in again, and there you go, job done. Three wick tea light gives you three times as much heat, obviously it doesn't last as long, but that was exactly what I needed to get my pop pop boat going.